Hello, this is Ukraine on Air. My name is Kristina Strecher with the latest news. During 35 days of the full-scale war waged by the Russian Federation against Ukraine, about 70 religious buildings were destroyed or damaged. Churches, chapels, mosques and synagogues. As experts from the Religion and Fire Project says, these are two buildings per day. Religious buildings often become a refuge for people during shelling and those who have lost their homes. But this does not stop shelling them. On the evening on the 12th of March, several buildings on the territory of Svetohirsk Lavra were damaged by an airstrike. At the time, the Pilgrim's Hotel housed about 500 civilians, many children. Earlier that day, the mosque of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent and his wife Roxolana came under fire in Mariupol. At that time, there were more than 80 adults and children, including Turkish citizens. The Russian Federation destroyed the unique wooden churches of the late 19th century, Church of the Nativity of Theotokos in the village of Vyazivka, Zhitomir region, and St. George's Church in the village of Zaborichi, Kiev region. They survived two world wars and revolutions, even the USSR, but were destroyed by a country that calls itself a defender of orthodoxy. Russia has damaged and destroyed the places of worship of various religions, but most belong to the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, which is in unity with the Moscow Patriarchate. According to the Workshop for the Academic Studies of Religion, experts documenting the destruction of religious buildings for the Religion on Fire project, the bombings are not selective. They further evidence of the war crimes committed by the Russian Federation.